U.S. Special Forces aiding Philippine Army in Marathi. U.S. Special Forces are helping the Philippine military retake the southern city of Marathi from his linked militants, the Philippine Army says. The forces are providing technical help and are not fighting, it said. President Rodrigo Duterte had earlier threatened to throw out U.S. troops amid strained relations since taking office. Militants have been under siege since rampaging through the southern city on 23rd of May. The latest fighting has claimed the lives of 13 Philippine Marines. Hundreds of militants, who have been flying the black flag of so-called Islamic State and are led by the self-styled as Amir of the Southern Philippines, Anilon Hapailan, and Amwath brothers Omar and Abdullah, are still holed up in the city. The latest casualties bring the number of Philippine troops killed in the fighting to 58. At least 138 militants and 20 civilians have also been killed, the government says. In a press briefing, Lt. Col. Joe R. Herrera said the Army was checking the reports. He cited strong indications but gave no further details. The brothers' parents, who are believed to have helped find their RN group, have been captured. Marathi is on the southern island of Mindanao which has a significant Muslim population in the majority Catholic country and has seen a decades-long Muslim separatist insurgency. Cull Herrera confirmed for the first time that U.S. Special Forces were helping the army. They are not fighting. They are just providing technical support, he said. Reuters news agency earlier quoted the U.S. Embassy in Manila as verifying the presence of U.S. forces. It would not go into operational details but said the U.S. forces were helping at the request of the Philippine government. The U.S. has had a small logistical military presence in the Philippines, although a program to advise the Philippine Army on fighting the Abu Salif militant group was discontinued in 2015. Mr. Duterte, a strong man who has supported the extrajudicial killing of drug users and other criminals has been highly critical of the U.S. since taking power last June, straining a long-time alliance. But he had what the White House described as a very friendly phone call with President Donald Trump in April, and has since said his differences with the U.S. were with President Barack Obama's administration. Philippine Army spokesman Brigadier General Restituto Padilla Jr. has vowed that the national flag will be flying once again over all of Marai by Monday the Philippine National Day. The Army has missed past deadlines to rid the city of militants amid two weeks of air and ground assaults. Col Herrero said the militants were now restricted to three districts within the city. The world of the terrorism inside the city is growing smaller by the day, he said. Officials say that foreign nationals are among the militants in Marait, with a list of countries and territories including Saudi Arabia, Indonesia, Malaysia, Yemen. India, and Chechnya.